I'm gonna show you 5 of the best combinations of rolls in FM23. We'll dive into what exactly makes combining these rolls so powerful, as well as what kind of players you would want in those positions. So let's get right into it. For our first entry, we'll be looking at a dangerous pairing in the front line, combining a false 9 with an inside forward on attack. The false 9 will often drop in close to the midfield, facilitating play and helping your team keep possession. And since he's moving from the striking position, the opposition centre backs have a decision to make. They can either let him go, letting you have an extra man in the midfield to help you overrun those valuable centre areas, or one of them has to step up to keep marking the false 9, leaving some space in behind. And that's where our inside forward comes in, always looking to make a direct inward run into the space left behind to get through to the keeper. Combining these rolls creates a dynamic attack, always trying to force the opposition's defense to make the wrong decision. But you'll need certain types of players to fully execute these rolls. For the false 9, you need a smart player who is good with movement to confuse the center backs and who is able to distribute the ball well for the link up play. So try and find a player who is good at off the ball, dribbling, passing and vision. A good example of this is Xiao Felix. And for the inside forward, you need someone that can quickly get into the space, control the ball and finish his dinner. So try and find a player who's got great acceleration, finishing, first touch and off the ball. A great example of this is Phoenicius Jr. Now for number 2, let's look at a completely different type of attacking combination, with a wide target forward and a Matsala on attack. In the modern game, the opponent's fullbacks are usually smaller, agile, more attacking players, which is something that we can exploit. By using a wide target forward, we've got a simple way to directly play the ball to our attack, letting him easily win his aerial duel to then knock the ball on. And that's where our Matsala comes in. This attacking minded midfielder will often look to run through the half spaces and get into the opposition area. Let that be the exact place where our wide target forward can head the ball to. This combination of roles can be an absolute hell to defend against, so expect a lot of goals and assists between these two players. But again, you'll need some specific players to execute this plan. For our wide target forward, we'll need someone that can actually win those aerial duels, so focus on a player with great jump and reach, heading, strength and bravery. A great example of this is Joe Linton. And for our Matsala, we'll need someone with great movement and finish ability to take those chances. So focus on a player with great off the ball, work rate, finishing and dribbling. A great example, James Madison. Now for the next brawl combination, let's switch our focus to the defense to build an unbreachable wall by combining two ball playing defenders with a central defender on cover. Now I absolutely love ball playing defenders in this game as they can be great for build up play but they can start dribbling further forward and leaving space in behind. And that's where the power of this role combination comes in. The central defender on cover will give you that defensive security by stepping into the space that the ball playing defender leaves behind. Combining him with two ball playing defenders gives you two extra options to step into the midfield while also creating a solid defense when out of possession. Now for the player profiles for these roles, your ball playing defender will have to be an actual valuable addition to your build up play. So focus on a player with great dribbling, pace, passing and vision. A great example is Jean-Claude Todibo. Now for your central defender on cover, he has to be a very intelligent reader of the game. So try and find a player with great decisions, anticipation, positioning and pace. A great example, David Alaba. But that's not the only way to build up from the back, as our number 4 spot goes to the inverted wingback combining with a Segunda Volante. We've previously seen on the channel that defensive mids are very powerful in this year's game, and none more so than Segunda Volantes. They provide defensive solidity as well as late runs into the opposition box, making them one of the best roles in FM23. But once they do get up the field, they can leave your midfield a bit empty, possibly hampering your build up play. And that's where our inverted wingback comes in. This defender can move inside into the space that the Segunda Volante has left behind, bringing balance back to your midfield. These roles complement each other perfectly, making them a deadly duo. Now for the players you would want in these roles, your Segunda Volante has to be able to get up and down the pitch constantly while also threatening the goal, so focus on a player with great pace, off the ball, work rate and long shots. And for an example, look no further than Leo Goretzka. Now for your inverted wingback, since they'll be moving into the midfield, they need to be able to distribute the ball well, so focus on a player with great passing, vision, dribbling and work rate. A great example, Marcus Acuna. Now for our final overpowered role combination, it's my personal favorite attacking duo an advance forward with a shadow striker behind him. Being one of the most popular striking roles, I don't think I have to explain how dangerous an advance forward can be when it's constantly trying to get in behind. But it is interesting to see what this does with the opposing center backs, as they'll usually drop off a bit more to keep up with the striker, creating a bit of a hole between the midfield and defense. And that's exactly where a shadow striker will be, constantly trying to evade the defense, get into space and make chances for himself. 
I can guarantee that any opposition will struggle to keep both these players quiet for an entire game. But you'll need some specific players to fill out these roles. Your advanced forward will have to be an expert at quickly getting in behind, so try and find a player with great pace, acceleration, off the ball and finishing. And there's no one better around than a player like Oziman. And for your shadow striker, you need a quick smart player who can take his chances, so try and find someone with great acceleration, anticipation, off the ball and finishing. Maybe someone like Neymar. And finally, it's important to note that while these role combinations are absolutely incredible, a tactic that just smashes them all together won't be a great tactic. So check out this video to see how you can create your own well-balanced tactic that can incorporate these overpowered role combinations. I'll see you on the next video.